Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the CCI Stinger 22 Long Rifle. The CCI Stinger was the first Hyper Velocity 22 Long Rifle to come out. There are many others that have joined it since then, but it provides a significant amount of energy and velocity over the standard 22 long rifle. The CCI Stinger comes in this really nice reusable plastic box. Really nice how the top just opens and closes like that. So you can use a couple down, a couple later, or leave or even reuse this after. Very, very nice touch. It's really useless to talk about the price of this because 22 long rifle these days. Um, the price varies like crazy from store to store, but I did pick these up at, at Walmart pretty cheap. Now, um, so basically the the boxes these come and really uh, stand out from everything else. The casing and the bullet itself also is very different than the standard. I'm going to go ahead and roll in a um, Blazer 22 long rifle right there just to do a comparison and you can see the differences. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom up just a little bit more just so you can see the differences. Um, one, you can see your 22 long, regular 22 long rifle has a brass casing where this has a nickel plated casing and you can also see that the casing is just a little bit longer right there. I'm gonna go ahead and squish these together real quick so you can really see the difference right there how the casing is a little bit longer now, the um, the reason for the longer casing is so they could pack in more gunpowder, and as you can see, the bullet itself is shorter or smaller on the Stinger, so it's lighter. This is a normal 40 grain bullet here on the top, the Blazer. The Stinger has only a 32 grain bullet, so it's lighter, so you have a lighter bullet being pushed by more gunpowder. So what does this achieve? Hyper velocity. That means it goes a lot, lot faster. Just to give you a little bit of a difference in specifications, the Blazer, which is a 40 grain bullet, will basically come out of the barrel at around uh, 12,055 uh, feet per second with about 150 40 pounds, uh, foot-pounds of energy compared to the Stinger which is coming out at 1640 feet per second with 191 foot-pounds of energy. Now because the bullet is lighter it's not going to carry that energy down range as well as a heavier bullet so you know it, it is it does carry more energy at the 50 yard line but when you get down to about a hundred yards the energy between these two are about equal and if you go out further the stinger of course is going to end up less so you you have a, a quicker drop off because you have a lighter bullet it has all to do with kinetic and physics and things that are way over my head but for basically for close in range you know, closer than a hundred yards, your Stinger is going to have way more energy and be traveling a lot faster than your standard. But beyond that, it's the other way around. Now there's some other differences that only being at the range can really uh, demonstrate or you can see the difference. This is my uh, Ruger Single 6 that I had brought to the range and shot both the Blazer and the Stinger. Um, rounds and I want you to take a look at the differences in the amount of flash that comes out of the gap right here and even out of the barrel. Now, just don't run out and buy the Stinger 22 long rifle without heating 
this warning. Um, this round is not recommended for many firearms, so what you really need to read the manual or contact your uh, manufacturer of your gun before putting this in. Um, I know that there are uh, like the I think it's the 1022 or you know it, it you know you you really need to read the manual or you need to um, contact the manufacturer if you have like a target barrel or something with tight tolerances. You're, you're probably not going to um, want to put this in or you can damage that barrel and even uh, violate your warranty of your firearm. Um, also CCI notes that uh, only use this in firearms having ANSI sporting barrel and chamber dimensions. Again, you know, they don't want you to put this into target or uh, competition barrels. So again, please read your manual and if it still doesn't stay to contact the manufacturer also because this has more power it could be kind of harsh on the semi-automatics so that that's another reason to you know take a look in the manual because you can uh, again damage your pistol if you want to know more about the stinger round I recommend a website called Rimfire Research and Development. I'm going to go ahead and provide a link below directly to the information on the Stinger Round. It is extremely and highly informative and um, they know a lot more about 22 rounds and probably firearms in general than me. So I would go there before asking me a question about this. Uh, I just know it's it's pretty cool and powerful and it makes a, a killer varmint round but there are some pros and cons to this round and um, we'll, we'll finish up with that. I want to get onto my soapbox really quick. I want everybody to um, know that if you own a firearm you should be a member of a of a group that helps you keep your firearms <laughs> whether it be the second amendment of found that the second amendment foundation which i'm a lifetime member of or the nra and the nra specifically is important because it keeps politicians honest about their record on gun rights and it keeps them voting um for you the gun owner <laughs> if they weren't there forty or, or you know four or five million strong you know, politicians probably wouldn't even go there. They could probably care less. But when you have that many voters watching and getting uh, information from the NRA showing their voting record, that that's a whole different ball game. And quite frankly, I think if it weren't for the NRA, we probably would have already lost outright to own uh, firearms. So what I would like you to do is if you are a firearm owner here in the US you absolutely um, should be a member of the NRA and if you're not you should be embarrassed and it's people like me and other responsible firearm owners who are basically paying your way because you wouldn't be owning those guns if it weren't for the NRA uh, that's my personal opinion so you know, and I I also know that there's the argument because this is the argument I hear the most when I tell a firearm owner that is well I'll get put on a list and then if the government ever comes after firearms they'll get it from the NRA and they'll know I have my I have firearms. Well, <laughs> if the government is going around confiscating firearms and looking on lists to uh, confiscate them, we got bigger problems. <laughs> we got some serious problems. So we don't even want to get there. So again, help fight the fight. Join the NRA. I'm going to provide a link below to my uh, deals blog where I have a deal right now where you can save up to $25 on your membership. So I urge you, if you're a firearm owner, to, to go to the link I'll provide below um, and I'll get you a good deal on an NRA membership, please. All right, I'm going to step off my soapbox now, and let's talk about the pros and cons before we wrap things up. Um, the pros. This thing is faster and carries more energy and can kill a bigger, little bit bigger varmint at a close range. You know, under 100 yards, some would argue under 50 yards. Um, 
at the sacrifice of the cons is that you lose accuracy because when you have a um, high velocity or hyper velocity round it's breaking the sound barrier when a bullet um, is going in and out of the uh, sound barrier it you know I, and I'm not an expert at aerodynamics but you you lose accuracy because of buffeting and going through the speed of sound or whatever what the reality is it's not as accurate as a subsonic bullet and also um, past 100 yards it's uh, slower than a regular bullet it doesn't carry that energy out there like a heavier bullet so there are your cons and and the last con is if you have a, a, a firearm with tight tolerances like a target barrel uh, you probably don't want to put this in there there's some semi-automatics where the actions just are not going to handle the extra power and you could damage your pistol so please check with your manufacturer of your firearm before sticking this in there all right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you, and I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.